What's up guys, Mike, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be my pickups for the month of May. So check it out, let me know what you think in the comment section below. All right, let's get into the video. Here we go. All right guys, let's get started. So first off is gonna be an Xbox, uh, OG Xbox game. It's called Pitfall, The Lost Expedition. All right, now I don't know if you guys ever played Pitfall, but um, this is kind of a first for me. So what I did was I saw it, I said, you know what, I'm gonna check it out and see how it is. Uh, it looks like a pretty fun game. Uh, it looks kind of interesting, kind of, I guess, is similar to the original uh, Pitfall games uh, from back in the day. So definitely a cool little pickup. Uh, now it does say it includes Pitfall and Pitfall 2. Now I don't know for sure if it's gonna include that or not, uh, but we'll check it out once we uh, get it started. So if you guys ever played Pitfall, let me know in the comments section below if this is a good game or not. All right, next is uh, <clears throat> a game that I picked up due to the fact that I did download it on Xbox Live. For some reason it disappeared and I wasn't able to actually re-download it, so I went ahead and uh, just picked it up. It's uh, Dead Space. Now guys, uh, I really enjoy this game. Uh, it's a great game if you like aliens and you like space uh, and fighting aliens, should I say. Uh, definitely a great game to pick up. I do have part two and three also on the 360 that I picked up. So it's definitely a, a franchise that I'm actually looking to uh, get into and, and actually complete the whole uh, series. So uh, definitely check this out if you get a chance, Dead Space. All right, next is actually a pickup from my wife and I. Uh, we love playing the Guitar Hero games and I saw this one at my local pawn shop and I said, you know, I'm gonna pick it up. It's a very good price. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Uh, now, we're used to playing the regular Guitar Hero games, uh, so we just love them. And like I said, I figured, you know, any other Guitar Hero game on the 360, because that's where we have our guitars on, uh, definitely want to pick them up uh, whenever I see them. So definitely uh, uh, excited to try this out with my wife. So hopefully uh, soon. All right, next game is a game I've never really played, uh, but it looks pretty awesome, actually. Uh, and let me know in the comment section below if you ever played this game, but it's Dishonored on the 360. Uh, now, again, um, I've never played it before. It just looks kind of cool at the back. It's made by Bethesda, so, you know, of course, uh, I love Skyrim, so I figured, you know, I wanted to try check it out and see what kind of game it is. Uh, again, let me know in the comment section below if you play this game uh, and if it's great or not. So definitely want to check this out soon. Uh, the next game is also a game I've never played before, but again, like I said, it looks cool and I have heard good things about it from friends of mine. Uh, it's Darksiders 2, of course, it's a limited edition uh, on an Xbox 360. Uh, now, again, I've never played this before, so let me know in the comment section below if this is a great game. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty neat, so definitely can't wait to try it out. Uh, I don't know if I have to play part one first, if it matters, uh, but you know, if it doesn't, then, you know, definitely I can't wait to play this and check it out. And in your worst case scenario, it just means I got to get part one also. So Darksiders 2 uh, limited edition for the Xbox 360. All right. The last game for the 360 I picked up is a, a game. Again, I just saw the, the artwork and I said, you know what? I got to check this game out is Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard. Now, I don't know if you guys ever played this or ever seen this before, but this definitely looks like a pretty cool game. Uh, I can't wait to check it out. So definitely uh, let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of this game and if it's pretty neat. All right, moving on to uh, the next set of games is gonna be all PlayStation. Uh, the first one is gonna be uh, one of my all-time favorite franchises, which is Tomb Raider. Uh, now I have one, two, and three on the original PlayStation. It's Tomb Raider Last Revelation. Now I believe this is part four, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but um, you know, I definitely can't wait to try it out. Now I think what I'm trying to do is playing all the games from the first one up to this one uh, and then just kind of go from there. I used to play a lot of Tomb Raider back in the day. So uh, next game is actually just to kind of help complete my collection. I have uh, uh, the Gran Turismo franchise is one of my favorite franchises I will grow up with, grew up with. Uh, so definitely had to pick this one up. It's Gran Turismo, the first one. Now it's on PlayStation. So I have part two, part three, part four, and part five. So you can tell I really love uh, Gran Turismo. So this is the one I needed in my set. Uh, I did see it was a black label, so I was pretty excited. I think uh, Gran Turismo 2, I have the uh, greatest hits label. So I definitely saw this one, I was, had the booklet and everything, it's complete in box. So I'm definitely excited to have this attached to my collection. So uh, definitely love the Gran Turismo franchise. All right, moving on to the next one set of games is going to be PlayStation 2. Now, this first game here I picked up, it's actually for my brother-in-laws and I. Uh, we love playing NFL Street, so I figured, you know what, I got part three. Why not just grab part one while I see it and it's there? Uh, NFL Street Part 1. Now, this game is really fun if you have a good group of friends and also if you have the multi-tap, which I do have for the PlayStation 2 uh, that I picked up a while back from this lady that was getting rid of a lot. 
of video games and uh, she had this in there so I said you know what how much is that and she said I'll just throw it in so definitely if you do have the multi-tap or if you have a couple of friends you definitely want to play this uh, NFL Street Series it's pretty fun if you love the NFL uh, it's a great little arcade style uh, uh, football game so definitely check this out NFL Street Next one, uh, never played before, but I love Crash Bandicoot and it's gonna be Crash Nitro Kart. And it's pretty interesting because I know they're coming out with the new uh, Crash Bandicoot um, racing game. I think it's called, uh, well this was called Nitro Kart, but I think it's called uh, Nitro Racing or something like that. Again, I can't remember guys, it's been a crazy week. But definitely um, check this out if you do have a PS2 and you are looking to go back in the day with some uh, kart racing. Now this is, I guess you could say, similar to like Mario Kart on the Nintendo. So definitely want to check this out if you get a chance. Uh, Crash, Crash Nitro Kart. All right, the next two games are gonna be a part of a franchise that everybody knows all too well. And it's gonna be Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PlayStation 2 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Now, what I thought was cool was when I saw both of these games together, they both have the map, they both have the instruction manual on there, and the game discs were pretty good. There's actually no barcodes on the back of these. So basically, I wanna say these two were together, either that or they were in a set, maybe like a box set. I believe they had a box set with these games in it. So definitely uh, excited to have these. Now these go back to way back to when I used to play Grand Theft Auto quite a bit. Now I haven't played the online one, or, or actually the newest one where we can go online. So definitely let me know in the comment section if I should try it out. I know a lot of people tell me it's a really good game to go to play online with friends or whatnot. So uh, again, Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3. All right, the next one is, I'm going with franchises here, guys, sorry. You have to bear with me here. Uh, next one is one of my all-time favorite first games I ever got into before uh, Call of Duty style games. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that these are like the OG Call of Duty style games. And that's uh, SOCOM 2 US Navy SEALs and SOCOM 3, okay? Now, I used to play the heck out of these games online with friends. Uh, I had Clan Wars, you know, the whole spiel. So if you guys are familiar with Clan Wars and all that, uh, you know, of course, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but basically, these games were like my favorite growing up. I used to stay up all night playing again online with uh, my friends and my, my clan and my team and whatnot so definitely excited to play these all over again now i don't think that online is working anymore for the playstation 2 but you know either way it's, it's going to be fun to go to the campaigns again and check out the games again uh, socom 2 and 3 and i do have part 1 that i picked up a while back so i have the complete set now at least for the playstation 2. All right, so next up is gonna be for the PlayStation 3. Now the next two games are Lego games, and I picked these up because I, I just enjoy playing these. Uh, my wife enjoys playing them. It's uh, Indiana Jones 2, The Adventure Continues. Now I have part one on Xbox 360, uh, and it's just a great game. Now all these Lego games are fun. So if you're ever out and about and you see these Lego games, definitely pick them up because they're really fun uh, for kids and also they're fun for adults as well. <laughs> so definitely uh, want to pick up these games here. And then the next Lego game I picked up is uh, Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. Now uh, I have part one on Xbox 360 as well and I also have part one on the PS3. So definitely want to check these out. Again, like I said, the Lego games are fun, great games to play. All right, last is gonna be a Virtual Cop on the Sega Saturn. Now this game right here came with, you guessed it, the Sega Saturn. Now, uh, I've been wanting to grab this from this guy for a while. Now this is the uh, North American version of the Sega Saturn. Now this guy was actually holding it for me uh, and he actually was able to sell it to me. Um, so definitely uh, happy for that. So thank you out there, I don't know if you're watching. Now, uh, this is in great shape, uh, everything works fine. I already tested it. Uh, these Sega Saturns are pretty neat. Now I'm just looking to maybe get a few more controllers, probably get some of the retro bit controllers, uh, but definitely excited to try it out. All right, that's it for the video. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell icon in the corner so that way you don't miss any of my future videos. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.